All right, so Rich is asking, can we build a 9 EMA and a 50 SMA squeeze? Yes, actually we can do that now, now that we have the expansion contraction solver. So, all right. Okay, so we have our first question to get things started. All right, so let me get Bloodhound open here. And first thing I need to do is, first of all, you know, create a start save save the work to a file so there we go let's get the moving averages on my chart first before I get going too far all right there's an EMA let's see it was a 9 and 50 okay okay here we go and let's see so right about there looks like a squeeze and kind of right about in there and yeah a little bit in there all right i think one more let's see and right about in there's a squeeze so okay so all right, so what I'm going to pull up here um, from the solvers is the expansion contraction there. All right, we'll connect that in. All right, so uh, we'll put the faster moving average in input A. All right. Okay, let's see, we'll just use the uh, search thing. And okay, there's our EMA. Make it a nine period. All right, good there. All right, there we go. So input A is now set to the EMA nine. And then input B, we want that a 50 period SMA. So we just need to open it up and there we go. Put in 50 there because the SMA is already the default indicator. All right, and next, um, well, let's just take a look at, at the default um, output settings here, right? The output settings down here at the bottom. So the default is, you know, we get along when it expands. Obviously expansion doesn't mean, you know, you should be buying. Um, things can be expanding when the market's trending down. But, you know, just to give you something, you know, visually um, that you can clearly see on the chart, you know, make sure you got things looking correct. Um, so we have an expansion, gives you a long output, and a contraction, right, gives you a short output with the default settings. And so we can see, right, there's red, roughly where my circles are, indicating contraction, or in other words, a squeeze um, as traders like to call it. So let's go in here and let's finish setting up the output here. So we're going to open up the rules window. There we go. And so we want to uh, identify contraction on both. So we'll set this to contraction like so. Um, and because, let's see, yeah, because um, both moving averages are on the same uh, panel, right? They're both on the price panel. So let's switch this to distance. Um, we'll change the calculation type to distance delta. Um, you know, in this case, actually, that really doesn't make any difference. Um, it's, um, I don't know, kind of like one of those, um, um, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, um, <laughs> uh, one of those kind of, I don't know, old wives tales kind of belief systems there. Um, so anyways, let's hit apply and there we have it. So, all right. So there you go. Whenever those two moving averages are squeezing, right? Um, so a squeeze or you know, an expansion, you know, is really just a filter, filtering mechanism. And, um, and so, and it's more importantly, 
A squeeze is a non-directional uh, filter. So when you're building non-directional filters, you want to make sure that your solver gives you a long and a short output at the same time because you don't you never know if that squeeze is going to be on a down move or if that squeeze is going to be on an up move right so. all right so there you go richard pretty simple um, and straightforward leave this up again here all right so i just set both the long output to contract and the short output was already set to contract.